Well, I think it's uh, it's time to update my showing my stats for Lifeline. I made a video August 8th of 2019 exposing my Lifeline stats. And um, I feel like it's time we, we do it again. I had 7,200 kills at the time. It was a minute ago. It was about season, I want to, it was season two of Apex. Um, here they are now. I am now the number five lifeline on PlayStation. I think, I want to say 11 or 12 overall. Could be wrong, but I know it's somewhere around there. Um, here overall is the stats. Got 93 on the scout of action. Nothing too crazy. Um, I've been trying to get 100 the past couple days. I actually just got 93 recently because it was at 82. Oh, uh, Jackson bow out. Nice 3600. I would like to get that to 4K, but I don't I don't care for that one too much. And the smoke shows at 4200. Although these trackers don't mean too much. 104,000 kills. Uh, it took me a minute. It took me a very, very long time to get 100K. It took me about three years. Over three years, actually. But 30, basically 3,300 winning kills. I don't feel like people care too much about those. No one really focuses on the last kill of the game to win. But there's that. 22,500 kills as kill leader could definitely be higher. It's not the greatest ratio, but it's not the worst either. So I will take it. 25.1 million damage. That's a lot of damage, considering, you know, you, know, you don't get a lot per game. You know, so it's not too bad. 104.7k headshots. It's actually crazy. My headshots and kills are actually very close together. Um, I do have a screenshot actually of my kills and headshots being the exact same number, which is pretty cool because you know no one no one's gonna have a hundred and some thousand headshots and kills at the same time. So it's pretty cool. Almost all four is for finishers. Four 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 three finishers. I don't do finishers too much anymore, honestly. I used to do them a lot, though. A lot. I want to say about season... I want to say season 7 and 8. I used to do them all the time. I don't do them too much now. Uh, creeping up on 22,000 revives. Uh, for being an OG lifeline, it's actually pretty good. I mean, I know a lot of, like, the newer lifelines have, you know, 10,000 kills and 6,000 revives because of how easy her res was. <clears throat> With or without the shield, just tapping, it's a lot easier than how she was when the game first came out. 29.4 thousand games played. Now, most would be saying, you know, with that many games played, you think I'd have more kills. But let me tell you, I was absolutely terrible when Apex first came out. I solo queued mostly all the time until about season four or season three is when I started three stacking and stuff. I don't three stack anymore because kill grinding while three stacking is, is terrible. It's very hard to do. Not a duo. Um... Yeah, there's that. Almost 2,400 wins with full squad alive. It's actually high. It's actually pretty high. I do uh, most of the time when when I win. Team is alive, actually. So this is actually a stat. I'm trying to get to 10,000 right now, and that is um the top three placements. I actually want to get 10k on that really bad because not a lot of people who have 10,000 top threes. So it's actually uh my next goal is to get that to 10k. 34,000 AR kills. I am a 301 crutch. Absolutely. I have a 301 in my hands probably 85 to 90% of the time. Very good gun. LMGs, 95, basically 9,600. Uh, LMGs are good in Apex, but the problem with LMGs is they're very boring. They're not fun to use. And overall, when you die to an LMG, you, you get a little upset. So I have some... some Decency to not want to slaughter my teammates with spitfires and stuff. Marksman kills, only 4,600. Don't use too many of the marksman guns just because mm, I don't really use long range too much, but the longbow is my second favorite gun in the game. So when I do feel like, you know, a game or so I want to run a long range, I use the longbow. Uh, 9,400 almost pistol kills. Um, not too big of a wingman fan just because I am... To be honest, pretty bad with the gun, so I'm not too big of a of a wingman fan. Um, 
I don't use hammer points too much either, so I'm kind of surprised I even have that many pistol kills. But, um, I do. Uh, 15.3k shotgun kills. Uh, I love my shotguns. Um, Peacekeeper was very good. I mean, it still is. The evil was broken for a couple seasons, so I use that. Um, do love my shotguns. Love my shotguns. SMG kills. Um, surprised this is actually this high too, because, you know, I don't use the R9 too much. I'm not too big of a fan of it. Um, but, uh, I didn't really start using SMGs in probably till about season, like, 10. Probably, like, season 10, I started using the R9 a lot. Um... I think season 11 is when the car came out. Could be wrong, but I think it was season 11. Started using the car. Car is very, very good, but can't wait for the vault to come back on the ground. Oh, 3,300 sniper kills, and I probably guarantee 2,500 of these are longbow kills. Um, this number changes every season because they take out and put in care package weapons. So as of right now, 11.5. 748 arena wins. I actually don't like arenas. So I think it is very bad. Um, people try too hard when it comes to the pub version of arenas. Um, you know, they rock and hammer points, rock and devos. Um, it's, it's just not a fun game mode. Dude got 3,100 kills. Um, most of these wins, kills, and this damage is probably from ranked arenas. Um, I did get masters twice. Got two animated master badges in arenas. Um... If y'all want a badge video, uh, let me know in the comments. I can drop a uh, a video showing off my badges. Sorry if my voice sounds weird. It is a little little cloggy. Uh, not too much damage. Just over a million. Not too much. 6,100 uh, squad mates revived with the drone. I think they added this tracker when they took away her rush shield. I'm pretty sure. So not too bad, actually. 2.5 million drone healing. This is actually terrible. Very bad. Any lifeline with my amount of kills should have like 4, like 4 million, maybe 3.5. So definitely bad. But I don't, before they buffed her drone, I usually used med kits insert, you know, or I would drop the drone, pop a syringe. You know, I didn't, I didn't use the drone fully. I do now because it, you know, it's fast and it actually will heal everybody. So I do it now. Um, items dropped for squad mates. This is another one that's really low because her care package was, I mean, terrible until her recent, uh, excuse me, her recent buff when they added the clinic, uh, POI spot. So, um, now it's actually worth waiting, but, you know, it was pretty bad before. Revive shield. Don't really know if this is good or not. I mean, I'd probably have it over a million by now, I'd imagine. Um, this far into the game without her having it. But, whatever now. Season 1, 113 wins, uh, 2,600 kills, 678,000 damage. Didn't play too much, honestly. I think in Season 1, I was bouncing between Fortnite and Apex. I wasn't fully on Apex like I am now, so stats are all over the place. 500 wins in Season 2. I feel like that's pretty high for Season 2. You know, most people weren't too good at the game. I mean, I myself wasn't too good either, so... Um, I feel like that's pretty good, though. Season 3... Um, 800 wins, you know, funny, funny enough about this being 800 is, uh, I think I got the last, I want to say like 70 wins in one play session. I think I played for about 33 hours. I could never do that now in the current state of Apex because it is, it's terrible. The game now playing for that long, I would, I would have a, a panic. I would, I, my anger would go through the roof. One, two, three, four wins in season four. First season I ever got. Um, over a thousand wins. I was number one wins for Lifeline on PlayStation up until about when I reached a thousand. When I reached a thousand, I stopped playing, you know, a lot. Because my goal wasn't one, two, three, four. It was just a thousand. But there was still a good amount of time left in the season. So I just got that. And uh, funny enough, I did finish number two. So, still pretty good. Season five. 714 wins. And, uh, 8,616 kills. Uh, my internet wasn't the greatest in Season 5. I actually had some pretty bad internet in Season 5, and I know that's why this is low. I think I probably would have had, honestly, I want to say about, you know, probably like 13,000 kills that season if, if my internet didn't, like, mess up all the time. Um, here's the kills. My actual total wins is 7,685 with Lifeline. 
Uh, would like to get that to 10k at some point, but I'm not a wind grinder, so it'll get there eventually. 317 wins, 3,962 kills in Season 6. Um, here's my Season 6 stats. Very low. I think Season 6 was, in my opinion, the worst season in Apex. Um, did not like the shield changes in the beginning. The vault was very broken. Mm, just wasn't a fan of how that season started. Didn't play too much. Season 7. Halfway through the season, um, I actually went to Call of Duty. Disconnected for an activity. Nice. Uh-huh. Oh, back to the stats. Let me, uh... Let me scroll back down. Um, where was I at? Season 7, I believe? Yes. So, Season 7. Uh, I actually went to go play Call of Duty Cold. I think uh, Black Ops Cold War came out during Season 7 of Apex, and I actually went to go play that. Um, but I still got 459 wins, 6,029 kills. Um, season 8... I got 10,000 kills, so, you know, right on the dot, 725 wins. It's actually crazy. I think Season 8 was pretty bad, too. I think World's Edge wasn't in the game that season. Um, very, very terrible Eva. Eva 8 was meta, and it shot so fast it was bad. Plus, Season 8 was Rev Tain when it was really good. Very, very bad season. Um, Season 9? I don't know why my Season 9... Oh, I actually remember... My controller, uh, since I am PlayStation, controller uh, broke, actually. It was very broken. Very bad stick drift and stuff, and I couldn't get a new one at the time. Couldn't afford one, so. Um, stats are kind of low. 7,600 kills, 579 wins. Nothing crazy. Season 10, came back, new controller, dominated. Um, this number should actually be 14,500 and something, but... The kills aren't there because Season 10 had a bug to where, like, the kills didn't count on the Season Tracker, but they did on, like, the normal Tracker. But Tracker says 13.1, 1,016 wins, got over a K again. Um, It's just the wins. Season 11, didn't play too much, actually. Stormpoint, I think, is the worst map in the game. Um, You'll probably realize why 11, 12, and 13, the stats are low compared to my other seasons because... Map storm point is just terrible. Uh, praying they take that out next season uh, for pubs because it's not a good pub map. But 7,000 kills, 374 wins, drone healing, damage kills. Season 12, I got 6329 for kills and 427 wins. Yet again, storm point terrible. I think season 11, 12, and this season I'd actually broke 10,000 plus kills, but. I just can't. Storm point is very bad. Games are slow. Um, in season 13, which is this current season, uh, at least when this video is being posted, is 5,583 with 339 wins. And I think there's about 22 days left in the season. So this will probably be at like 7,000, I'd imagine. This, excuse me. This might be around four or 400, honestly. I don't think it'll be too high. I might just lull and get it to four, uh, 420. But... That is the overall stats of the number five lifeline on PlayStation. Nothing too... I'd also like to point out, too, that my games played is very high because I also do play lifeline and ranked. I don't use another character. Uh, I think the only season I actually did use another character was season five, and I think I played Cossack because he was very, very strong back then, and if you didn't have him, you would not succeed in ranked. And I used Bloodhound a little bit, but mainly lifeline because... Uh, I just love my lifeline, but yeah, that's why these are really high too, but here's the stats, um, let me know if y'all want a video of my badge collection, because I do like to get badges, I am a, a freak when it comes to collecting those, so, or just my lifeline locker, my skins, my banners, you know, emotes, or palace sprays, you know, whatever, uh, let me know if you want to see like a locker tutorial, or not tutorial, but like showcase um and i will get that out but there's the stats um appreciate appreciate you clicking on the video um marcus out